I've been very emotional lately. I had misinterpreted someone's conversation. And in my last, you know, video, not the one about medications, but, you know, the, my last actual video, um, I had, uh, d I had discussed something that, that I thought was someone's position, and it was not. They weren't saying they don't deserve justice. They were saying that it was, that it, basically that it will be much <clears throat> harder for them to get justice. Some people's mode of discussing things confuses me sometimes. It just, I, I'm like, okay, why did you say that? Why did you word that? There has to be a reason why you said that. No, no, I, uh, and, 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 and they'll, they'll say they don't have to have a reason or there's not, there, there's always a reason for someone saying something. There's always, there's always something underlying when some, when people say things. And there are some people that just, they, they've convinced themselves that they never operate that way. So I don't know, I don't know how to word it, but it's just, generally there's always a reason why someone says something. What's the motive? Why was this done? And it's very possible to read into, very, very incorrectly read into that sort of thing. And when, I'm be when I've been very emotional about a subject, it happens more. I'm sorry to that person that I had misinterpreted uh, what you said. I don't want even want to mention the name because I don't, I just think it's best to keep it without saying the name. So, uh, I'm sorry. What has me so upset about this stuff though is Watching the rise of that whole rich frat boy mentality and just the proud boys, the good old boys, the grab them by the pussy, you know, the people who think that that's okay, that kind of mindset's okay, that kind of mindset creeping up like, like we're watching Return of Kings, you know, that kind of mindset uh, gain power and they, they essentially have. And we're going to have more justices that have remnants of that, you know? It's, it's, it's like, well, I mean, it is like watching Biff Tanner win. Oh, Biff Tanner is president. And people support it because, oh, well, it's, it's, it's not political correctness. Oh, yeah, so Biff Tanner is so much better than, than having political correctness, right? It, it amazed me how many people, like, during Trump's campaign were supportive of, of his... He campaigned under, uh, let's ban Muslims. And you just to even remotely think that's okay, I mean, what... Where are you? Where, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know how else to word it, but misogyny has, has creeped its ugly head. Watching a culture of misogyny just start to become the norm in, in a number of circles or become accepted or just looked at, oh, well, that's, that's, that's okay. That's just guys being guys. You know, you, 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 I've said many times in the past that what we have here is patriarchy light. If, if, we, if there's a patriarchy at all, it's patriarchy light. But it's this stuff that's been creeping up since, the tr since Trump became president that's making me wonder. Well, first, you know, I, would, I, I used to even question whether there is even patriarchy light. Now there's obviously patriarchy light, but if this shit keeps up, we, we're going to give feminists the... Uh, 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 we're going to make them right. Do we want to make them right? Do we want to, you know, push a, a, a patriarchal kind of mindset? Is that what we want? If one really wants to break it apart, one could say that, well, the good things in our society were based on a patriarchal kind of thing, you know? The, the men, you know, the men are the ones that do that work, and they're the ones that thought, that thought of these things, and so they're the ones that should reap the benefits of it, or something like that. I, I, they're the primary ones that should reap the benefits. So it should stay that way. And it's, uh, I get the arguments like that. I get them. I disagree with them, but I get them. It's just so sad. Seeming like we've, we've made so much progress socially. So much. Just incredible progress. And yet, past year and a half, I, I feel like 1985 or so is already just like really creeping up already. So much progress down the toilet. My only hope right now is November, and if if there isn't any sort of blue tsunami, or you know, if 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 it's at least if it's not at least you know equal, 
Yeah, I don't I don't know that point. Um I would just have I will have think that well the the bigots and the bullies have won. And we'll just have to take defeat. Some people will probably become terrorists though. So